Well, hi there. This is Kathy Crow at the Crow Cottage, and it is so nice to have you here with me. Ah, I see my video. Let me jump over here and grab it really quick. Oh, I missed it. I hit. <sighs> okay, I'll get to it. Um, anyway, now I've totally screwed it up because I went, I don't know what I did. Um, I have no idea what I hit. Anyway, uh, today we are going to have some fun. I will get that on in a minute, but today we're going to do freezing fun. This is... Um, I have no idea what this is called. Kind of forget what kind of fold this is, but it's a super easy one to do. This is a good one to do with these stamp sets that have, we're gonna do it with um, with um, Freeze and Fun because it has a whole lot of uh, really good um, stamp, you know, little tiny stamp guys. And uh, I, have a tight, I have a hard time using those kinds of sets sometimes because uh, it seems like um, it's there's there's small you know little stamps that are difficult. Is that me or is that my old one? What shirt am I wearing? I can't tell. I think that's an old one. I can't. That is an old one. Oh my goodness! This is the problem when you don't hit the right button. It's like tremendously difficult to to find the actual video ah there it is there we go so now let me get my sound off and now i can see comments all right because it's um thanksgiving week there's probably not going to be anybody here with me today it'd be really nice if you were but if you're not i understand there's lots of things to do and that is perfectly fine um i still hear my voice let me make sure it's totally off there we go um i've got christmas music going so that'll be nice for me to hear and we've been seeing a little bit of Christmas. Jeff had to call me and say there was snow. He saw snow at school. I was like, ugh. Oh. That is the news I don't really want to hear, but anyhow. So, um, Freeze and Fun. This is our stamp set. Now, this has dies with it, which is really sweet because these kinds of images, a lot of times Stampin' It! doesn't do, um, you know, dies with those. And then we're ending up fussy cutting everything out. Tomorrow, I was checking my calendar really quick. Tomorrow is a big sale at Stampin' Up. There's, you know, it's a 10% sale. They, for those of us who are demonstrators, 10% on top of what we already have is really good. Hi, Marty. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a pretty wet. It's cold. Cold enough to get a little snow, although I didn't see it. So I was happy about that. So let's go ahead and do the drawing. We will see who wins the drawing this week. And um, this week, this is the first time ever. I've been doing this for two or three years. And uh, this is the first week I actually got a spam email uh, subscribing to my newsletter, which was really hilarious. It was somebody who had left their address as United Board. <laughs> Now, so if United Board is a general, as is a real one out there, I apologize, but I don't think you are. Because they didn't even s sign their email correctly. It was like to a bogus box. And um, uh, anyway, I just thought, wow, you know, it's, it reminded me of the Mick Jagger song, Hey You Stay Off of My Cloud kind of thing. It's like, well... Um, and anyway, they didn't say anything, so it could have been a lot worse. I actually got a pretty good laugh out of it. But, um, somebody's using a bogus email out there. All right, who won? Mary, you won. Congratulations, Mary. That's awesome. So Mary isn't with us right now, but um, that'll be a nice treat for her later. Thank you so much, for, Marty. You always share, and I appreciate that so much. All right, sunny Florida, Marty. I am so jealous. That is... Um, it is cold, it's wet, and um, and I'm probably not going to get out on my bike. I all, I did get out. I had a little bit of painting to do on a door, and this is not the time of year to paint. But here, it's so hot in the summer. I don't like to do it in the summer when it's hot. And I don't want to get up at 4 in the morning to do it when it's cooler. <laughs> so I put off a little bit of painting on a, on a door that we would put in um, until this fall and I got that painted but it was yeah I'm gonna have to do it again this morning though I hadn't done it around the handle so I had to get that all right do you guys like those blow up Christmas decorations this set reminds me of a lot of that sort of thing and I just saw at our um 
coffee place, they have a little drive through Of course, we're all shut down again, all locked down as far as restaurants go. Everything else is functioning well. Well, other than school, of course, school isn't, and that's uh, very unfortunate for our our um, our community. But uh, anyway, it was funny in our um, drive up window at our favorite coffee place. They have put just for us drive up people a couple uh, little Santa. Um, roasting a marshmallow at his little campfire and a little reindeer coming out of what looks like a big dog house, but it's a reindeer house apparently, and it's really cute. So um, some of the blow up stuff are, they're pretty nice, but I have to admit I'm not that fond of them. I'm gonna make sure my sound is up because I was playing with it earlier. All right, so today's project, again, what I'm doing is this fold-out one. I'll refer to it a few times. If you have an order you wanna place, this is a good place to do it. I will send you Christmas cards right now. If you place a $50 order, you will get at least four Christmas cards, and the, delay, the size of your order will indicate how many cards you get. And they are all really nice ones. This year, I think I've really outdone myself with Christmas cards. Now with this um, design, you are going to, I use, you can use a 12 by 12, by 12 sheet of paper. Um, because it's not very, I've done it with our um, double-sided DSP. Ah, your internet dropped, no good. <laughs> you must be back, I hope so, I'm sorry. Um, I, the our, our DSP is usually too flimsy to do this well, um, all on its own. So I have it backed with, you know, not our Whisper White. This is um, this is cardstock that I get at uh, like Hobby Lobby when it's on sale at fifty percent off, and I or even our Fred Meyer has got um, has got our eleven by seventeen white cardstock. And that's what I am using for my card. Um, if you do an 11 by 17 inch piece instead of your 12 by 12, I'm gonna give you two, two instructions depending on which you wish, wish to use. If you're going like this with me and you're using a seven, an 11 by 17 inch base white card, or, well, or any color, you know, you're picking. This length is going to be 16 inches, okay? So you're just gonna cut one inch off, and then the width of the card is five and a half, regardless of what you do. And then you've got score lines at four inch intervals. So this is four inches, this is eight inches, this is 12 inches, okay? So all you do is you cut your 16, by five and a half inch cardstock. Again, that's 16 inches this way, five and a half inches this way, and then with your score tool, just score it at four inches, eight inches, and 12 inches. And then this is gonna fold up into an accordion fold really very nicely for you. That is with the 11 by 17 inch paper. Oh good, you're back. You know, my internet's been really acting up a lot, Marty, and I don't know why mine has been either, but I've um ours has been skipping a lot. I think I've got I've got to do our um I go through with our um spyware cleaner, you know, every once in a while I clean things out. And it always surprises me. I think all the cookies that stuff, you know, it gets added in. It just um doesn't make it run well. Okay, so here is another, oh, that's just that one. Let me get rid of that. That's probably the one I'm actually using today. I've got a few because um, I'm gonna do a few of these cards. They're kind of fun. All right, so the other option you have, and this one I've already cut, you can use your 12 inch paper, okay? If you do a 12 inch instead of a 17 inch, you're gonna wanna cut two pieces of paper. Hi, Linda. It's nice to see you. Thank you for sharing, you guys. I appreciate that. So if it's a 12-inch sheet that you're using, you will cut it. Um, oh, boy, did I? You cut it. You leave it at 12 inches, okay? So you cut five and a half inches across and then 12 inches length, but you cut two of them, and then you just connect those panels 
at the back. And I think I did that with this card because uh, that was my original instructions from whoever I copied this from. But I didn't like that method. It, it's, there's just too much bulk and you end up with this seam at the back. You know, you don't have to have that seam and you don't have to have the bulk either if you go with your 17 inch cardstock. And if you get it on sale like I do at 50% off, it's very cheap. And, um, oh, you have two internet. Sometimes they can fight each other. Have you ever had that? We, we've we had that experience too. Once, you know, your devices are always try, ha, com, com, confused about which internet to to connect with. So if you are using your 12 by five and a half, what you will do is you'll cut your 12 inch paper, you'll cut two of them, five and a half inches each. And then again, if you only score two times because you're gonna score at four inches and eight inches on each one. And then you're gonna just glue, you know, glue it together. Now, after you've glued it together, um, this is the one, I can't work on this one. I was just showing you how to do it. Let's see, I'm gonna have to actually assemble one. So let's grab one of my ones that we're gonna use. All right, so after you have it all cut out, now you can take your, your stitched rectangle die. Oh no, we wanna glue our paper first, I forgot. So I've got, um, for our, oh, let's grab out this, this paper so I see the name of it. This is our Snowflake Splendor paper that I'm using, but you probably recognize this from our Woven Heirlooms DSP. It matches the colors really nicely. There's the, not on this side so much, not on that side so much, but on this side, this is a M Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy Blue in with that purple posy. And it matches the purple posy in this beautifully. The blue is fine too, because there is there is some Night of Navy and, and Misty Moonlight in this cardstock too. Okay, so that's what my panels are, is from Woven Heirlooms and Snowflake Splendor. All right, so what I need to do is, before I can use my stitched um, rectangle die and cut out our, our cutouts, before I do that, I need to glue these on because I want the cutouts to be in exactly the right place. And some of these are a little bit bigger than others. So let me see what we've got. I've got my cover. I want that to be the biggest because I, because of all the folds in the bulk, it's gotta be just a tiny bit bigger so it kind of conceals all of that. So this is four and one eighths by five and a half. So I am gonna just, glue this on here. There isn't, uh, until you get things cut out, it doesn't really matter which is the front or the back. Yesterday when I was riding my bike, I saw, uh, it was really funny, I saw this cat. Um, it was a full-size cat and it this tree I, that it was climbing into, I. I swear was not any bigger than two and a half feet tall, tiny little sapling. Um, the people had, and so that's what attracted my attention was the, not the cat so much as that this tree was quivering. It had a lot of dead leaves still on it because it, it was clinging to the, all those leaves and um, probably because it's young and apparently a cat's climbing it all the time and weakening it. And this cat was shaking and it was a black cat so I could see it really well. And I was wondering why is that cat climbing that? Usually cats climb a big tree. I, I've never seen one. They had, again, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm serious. They had a, a birdhouse hanging from one of the branches and I'm shocked that they found one strong enough to hang it. A birdhouse this, this bit long, you know, this, this wide, this long hanging in the tree and I suspect it had bird seed. I don't know, but I, the cat would f come down and look at that feeder and then climb back up it again. And I was thinking maybe they have the feeder there to entertain the cat, you know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a cat entertainer. Okay. This is my 
um, back piece. So this is a little larger too. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that one on the back just so I don't lose track of it. And these, this piece all, um, is four inches by five and a half inches. Okay. But it was just so funny to see that, ugh, that cat in the tree climbing it and it would come down. It was really quite cute. It lo I'm sure it was a kitten because it was, it was behaving like a kitten. And I think that the people just had, I mean, they must have been renters or something. Nobody who had planted that tree would want it to be used as a cat toy because it's not going to survive it. But I enjoyed it for my one minute not even one minute ride past the tree now these pieces that are on the inside are all um three and seven eighths by five and a half so that you can easily fit them in and you know you can do um one long piece of dsp i did that with this one i just cut one big long piece and then glued it all on and i used my repositionable glue so i could wiggle it and make sure that it didn't have any creases you know and and when I folded it it could be nice and flat and all of that and I discovered it doesn't really work there still was this little buckling that ha happened no matter what I did so you can do one long piece and it's nice to not have seams here but I I'm not gonna do it any <laughs> that way again because it didn't really lay flat enough and it's not we'll see what this looks like i haven't done one yet so we'll see if the seams look look weird at all now i want to make sure i'm getting okay i see this is the one oh this is the one i did with my um double double pieces i did a 12 by 12 on this and this is where my seam is so i'm going to go ahead and cover that with my dsp You guys getting all ready for Christmas? I can't believe how many stores have all the, they have all their Christmas stuff out. And I know they probably always do at this time of the year. I just am always buying, you know, other things. We've got one birthday in the family um, and this month. And um, Usually we have a lot of, my husband was a football coach, so for years football kind of consumed a lot of the fall activities as well as the birthday. I didn't think about Christmas too much until after Thanksgiving, but it seems like since retailers have been kind of taking a hit on the chin with all of our lockdowns, they're probably really looking forward to catching up some business maybe at this time I don't know okay so there I do like it without the seams I have to admit I do like it better without the seams but we're gonna have to live with the seams as they are and I ended up with an extra piece too that I cut out I'm not sure how that happened but oh well I could use it at some point in time so we'll slide it into my little little pack and of course, since I got glue out here, I've got to get my little wipe because it is already a sticky mess happening all over my fingers. My daughter's doing a nail par party. If you're interested in Color Street, you can look on my, my page. Maybe I'll share it. <laughs> you can have your nails all nice. Okay, now, um, I'm using this die that's about, let's see, one, two, three, four. This is the fifth die down in our stitched rectangle spot. And let me put this camera up just a little bit and make some space so I can bring my cut, cutting thing over here. Get rid of all my little templates. And our stamp set, okay. happening here I'm not sure why there we go okay so we need that I think it's fairly flat my plates are getting pretty well used 
All right, now, so we're just gonna find the front again. And um, I don't need to cut a hole in the front, so don't cut a hole in the front. We're just gonna do one right in the center of each of these panels. And I think I'm only doing it in these two panels, just these two inner panels, okay? So let's try to get my magnet to work because it's not grabbing it the right way. It does, I do not want it shifting. I want you to stay right in the center. And if you are not sure that you can eyeball it, you know, you could take a ruler and make a little mark just to make sure that you are getting it centered exactly correctly. You know, you could measure down and all, but you know what? I am not going to worry about it. It's going to be fine. It'll be close enough. Okay. I, I do. I am. The only thing I'm concerned about is I do want to make sure my stitch die is actually straight. <laughs> I don't really want it to be all wonky. Now it's got two layers to go through, so we are going to have to go through this a couple of times just to make sure that cuts good. Okay, so there's there. We'll do it one last time to drag it back out. And that way I know it will have cut through. And you've got a nice little tag there. You can save it and use it at another time. It's kind of nice. And we'll slide you through. And now this time to get it evened up, I think I am going to grab my, my ruler. And we'll line this, try to line this up. just to make sure it's in line with that. Now don't be crooked, don't be crooked. Don't be crooked like our government likes to be. Okay, there we go. We'll go through a few times on that one too. Oh, good, Marty. I'm glad you like. Are you talking about the snowflake sh um, show or not? Not showcase. I have a bunch of that left over. I think too, and I maybe not the paper. Not the, from snowflake showcase. We had those snowflake dies, and I loved those dies. We have some nice new ones that are you know good, but I really am still preferring our snowflake showcase dies. But this um, snowflake splendor. DSP is really pretty. Okay, now once you've cut those, um, you do need to fold your your folds again. Be a little careful because the framing makes it a little bit wonky. What have I done? I thought I had... Did I not? I thought I put the... That's what that piece was. It was the front. Although I thought I put the front on. Huh. I must have done one and then not done the other. I don't know what I've done. But I did something goofy. I did something goofy and, and I'm gonna have to cut another piece of DSP because that one is not a cover piece. So I don't know what I did, but I did something goofy. Oh well, go figure, I'm not surprised. All right, at least we've got this part done and I don't need to do that again. So we will just cut out another piece of DSP and put on the cover. I must not have actually put the cover on and used the cover on an inside one. And if I've done that, well, see now it's too big because I did do that. I think I put the, what I did is I I put the cover on the inside or I had it on the outside and then as I was putting the inside pieces on, I flipped it inside out. I don't know what I did, but that was the cover piece there and I put it on the inside. Now, if you haven't cut exactly perfectly, like I obviously didn't, you can just carefully trim off your excess. No one will be the wiser. 
Okay. All right, now we're ready to cut another piece. I'm glad I have a whole bunch of it here. Where is my extras though? I had it here just a moment ago and then to show you and I put it somewhere. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I do, I see, I'm just confusing myself. It is, now I've trimmed it. <laughs> this will be the front. Oh my goodness. But that can't be the front because it's got to go like this. See, I need it to, oh brother, because I need it to open up like this. What a dope. <laughs> I need it to open up like that. Oh my goodness. So I need it to be like you know, what have I done? I don't even know what I've done now. This is going like this. This is going like this. Huh. I think what I've done is I totally glued them on the wrong sides. Huh. And we're going to just live with it as it is. Can I live with it as it is? No, because I need that to open up. Hmm. You guys are probably thinking, my goodness, can you? No, I just, I glued them on the wrong side, but I, <laughs> it shouldn't matter if I flip it. No, see, what happened though is I've got it, it needs to open like this. Yeah, we'll fold it like this. And like this. Yep, I just, I did it totally wrong, and so we are just going to be blessed, I guess, with having it different, because I, I don't want to, like this, like this, <laughs> it doesn't matter how I fold it, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to recut my, my piece. It is a good thing that I have other ones all ready to do, huh? Okay, well, anyway, let me go grab my extra paper. I know I have it. Just a matter of finding. Where did I go? That is so funny. Now I cannot find my DSP that I had a whole pack of here a moment ago. There you are. All right, so we have some here. I am going to have to hunt down some other woven heirloom paper. All right, so this is a whole new pack. Freddie gave me a bunch and I am so grateful. Hi, Andy, how are you? That's okay, I, it, <laughs> You are so funny. You saw it had snow out there. Jeff called me to say that there was snow. And I, when he called, he's at school. He doesn't even have to be at school most days because there's no kids there. But he does this just so he's out of my hair. And I greatly appreciate it. But um, anyway, it's so funny because he said he called, which is rare. He doesn't call to say that there was snow and um anyway i i'm glad you like it andy i was not so thrilled about the snow all right so what i've done is i did a big boo-boo on it and doesn't matter how i fold it i'm not going to be able to correct my boo-boo i thought i could but it's it's got to you've got to do it so that it opens like this <laughs> Oh boy, so we're just going to basically put this aside. I'll just deal with that later. We'll start from scratch again over here. Okay, so we've got another piece ready to go. Let me take my things off. Now I've got to measure everything again because I sort of forgot my my measurements. They were all, they're all glued to the hard now all right so we want our cover to be large and let's make sure I'm doing it correctly this time so we've got to open this way 
we need this one to be four inches by five and a half. Is four going to be big enough? I'm going to do it just a tiny bit bigger than four. In fact, maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll break my rule. We'll just go the long way here. We'll do it like this just to simplify things a bit. So we'll go five and a half inches. Okay, and we are gonna just glue and fold. And then I'm going to just put a panel on the back here this one almost fits, but not quite. So I believe we're going to need mm, four inches going to be a little big. So let's go with three and seven eighths. And it'll be five and a half inches. Okay, and we'll glue that on the inside, right there. Now let me look at my card really fast. Where did I put my card? My real one. I want to make sure that when I glue or my other one, yeah, it gets glued right on top of the DSP, so we're fine getting that right on there. You always want to look, if you're doing a new card re um, recipe for somebody, you want to make sure you're checking the order of your ribbon. <laughs> it seems like ribbons are the things that sometimes you're supposed to sneak it in under something. And if you don't, you'll be sorry you didn't. This is sort of the same thing. It's no worries, Andy. <laughs> The snow is good for my garden. I can take some, some you know, joy in that. Not snow is fine as long as it's like it is like now. You know, it snowed a tiny bit. Do you have any sticking? Because I didn't see any. So Jeff decided it must have just been out there at Hanford High School. <laughs> now I need to do a front and a back piece. These are going to be a little bit bigger. Let me make sure I do not. Before I do the front and the back piece, I am going to just complete this inner part because I'm terrified I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. That is going to have to be trimmed just a tiny bit. I'm sort of doing it shortcut, but I'm going to like it a little better because I didn't like those seams anyway. All right. And when you're doing it like this, what you can do is glue it in and then do your folds. Okay. And I am going to need to do a tiny bit of trim, it looks like, but uh, for the most part, it'll be fine. Now, I would normally be using my... Um, glue that cannot be mentioned but um because i have you on here with me and i don't want to do all of that off camera i'll just i'll just suck it up with our tombow and if we fold quickly before it sets i think we'll be okay okay so now you have your folds the way you want them and you can see how it sticks out let's make this one the can we make it the front yes yeah, see that's what i did before as i i made i think the back the front and then i got it messed up and wasn't working so now you can see this is why i don't recommend doing it this way you're gonna have issues if you do it this way so having panels it's a little bit less, you know, more unsightly, but it does fold a little nicer. So it's just kind of whatever you prefer. I'm, I'm going to live with what I've got now. And it, I do like the way it looks on the inside a bit better. You still have a seam because our papers, you know, what it is. It's, we don't have a 11 by 17 inch DSP. 
Okay, so let's take my little scissors and trim off my edge that's just hanging out here a little bit. Which is a little tricky since it's sort of sticking out there. Let's do it like this. There we go. I do appreciate people getting their Christmas decorations out. It makes me want to have any some out. Andy, do you put up Christmas decorations every year? Or at least, a, you, you probably at least put up a tree, right? Um, last there, I think last year we put up a tree. Now that our kids are gone, if our kids aren't coming home, it's like, well, I don't think I want to get out all of the decorations. I'm not gonna. But then I miss it too, so. It just sort of depends on how festive I feel and how much energy I have if I'm tired from doing a bunch of stuff. This year I'm thinking, um, things have been so depressing in so many ways. I am going to definitely be decorating for Christmas this year because I want to have some holiday cheer around me. There, okay. Now we can do our front cover and hmm i'm thinking this is gonna have to be the front cover even though it's i'm gonna need to make this four and an eighth by five and a half and a five and a half it's a good thing i have a whole bunch of this heirloom woven heirlooms paper thank you freddie for providing that for me and it's a bit big i did I purposely did it a bit big, but that's even a bit bigger than I need it to be. Let's do just a tiny bit off. Or did I flip it? I flipped it, didn't I? It's still fine. In fact, it's perfect. Okay. Whew. This took quite a bit of time, but you'll be happy to know all the other things are going to go on very quickly once we just finally get this base card done. So again, what you're doing, since I've sort of given us a long back door view to this, is you've got, um, you can use your 11 by 17 paper and, um, or cardstock, I mean, and cut it 16 inches by five and a half and then score your, you see, this is what I don't like, but I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, and then you just score at four inch intervals, four inches, eight inches, and 12 inches. Otherwise you're gonna have to glue two pieces together, so. I do want one on the back and I, do I have enough to go on the back? I'm not sure. I might have to get out a whole nother sheet. Is that big enough? Oh, it is. It's sweetly just big enough. So five and a half. Perfect. And then, if I wanted to, I can make that the front. No, it's still not going to be quite big enough. I just don't like that seam. I really like this woven heirlooms for paper. So when Freddie was like, I'm so sick and tired of all of this um, celebration junk. <laughs> oh, Andy, you do not do Christmas decorations. Yeah, I know. It just kind of takes out the fun of it if it's just you because it's all the work of putting it away too. It's not the, you know, it's not the getting it out so much. That's kind of the fun part, right? The decorating it, but it's like, uh, now it's over and it's kind of depressing to have to do all the work I'm putting it away anyway. So if I'm all by myself, just forget it. I'm not even gonna do it. Okay, so now we get to have the pleasure of cutting out our center panels again. So I believe one, two, three, four, five. I believe it was the fifth one down. Let's see if that's correct. Come on, little guy. You, you ruined my nails getting those out. Okay. Nope, that one's a bit big. It's the next one. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was the fourth one down. So it is the fifth one down. We'll try it again. Okay. 
Okay, make sure that's the one that's flat. My goodness, this is time consuming. When you do it wrong, it's very time consuming. It isn't otherwise. And that crease is make, gonna make life difficult here. Really difficult. So I'm gonna just do this, but that's gonna really bugger up my card. But that's life. Now, I do want these sides to be relatively equal. And these sides relatively equal. And I am saying relatively because it doesn't have to be perfect. It just, it, and if you want it perfect, you're going to want to measure. Maybe I won't have to go all the way through to that floor. Let's see. Ooh, it's awfully thick. <laughs> We're doing it just two times and hopefully it'll cut through. Let's see if it did. So, oh, did it, didn't quite. Oh my goodness. I didn't think it would. It's a lot of thickness. It's basically, you know, it's two cardstock thicknesses, so not too surprised. Okay, now it's through, or at least enough. Got another nice tag, so I am getting a bunch of nice tags out of the deal. Now, because of the way I did it, it's not wanting to lay down nicely at all. Let's slide you through like this. Let's figure out what's going on here. Oh, this is where I've got, I used two pieces. I did the 12 by 12 and cut it. <laughs> So that's not wanting to lay down nicely, which is fine when your card's complete, but for now, with me rolling it, it kind of needs to be. I need to see that so that I can get this on here accurately. Come on, magnet. Grab, please. I might have to tape it. Okay. All right, there we go. I hope that's straight. It's looking just a tiny bit crooked to me. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna have to roll it through one more time just because of that thickness. But that should do it. And if it does have a little issue, just a little twist and it'll come away. All right, now we are back in business and we've got it the right way now. All right, sorry about that little detour. That took quite a bit of extra time, but oh well. Again, that's the way it goes. All right, so now that we've done that, this is gonna be our front, and this is gonna open up like this. And now you're ready for your inside part to go. Okay, so I, again, I'm def I, um, I took my 12 by 12, and I cut two three and an eighth by nine inches. And then you're scoring it at two and a quarter, two and a quarter, five and a half, and then an eight and three quarters so that you can glue it. It'll just leave that little quarter strip, and that little quarter strip is where you're going to glue them together. So you cut two that way, and I've already done that with my DSP. Didn't score it because since you know I've got my I'm laying it on a white piece, I don't really need to score. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just glue right on here and fold. Okay, so I'm gonna just 
go like this. I'm gonna lay it right out flat, and then I'm gonna just glue these on here and trim off my little edge, because I don't really wanna double it up. That one's got a little cut, so I think I'll do it this way. There. And well, that one's going to have a cut anyway. So we'll do it there. All right, so now we're going to do this like this. And I am going to trim just a little bit off here. I didn't need quite that much. And I am going to get my other glue out here so that I can make sure I get this on here correctly without a whole lot of, my Tombow is fine, but it does, it wiggles too much. Well, I mean, it doesn't wiggle enough. It actually is much more permanent, it's true, but when I need some wiggling, this time I'm gonna wanna make sure I have plenty of wiggle time. I need to do the folding part too. Okay, with that glue, you're gonna be able to get a much nicer fold going there. Just a little hint about that. Okay, let me put glue on this piece also. And we'll stick that on there and we'll be all set to put in the middle. And then it's the fun part. It's like well, um, I did, dug all the planting holes in the garden, and now I get to stick in the plants. That's kind of the way I look at it when we get to the part of putting all these little guys in. And I've already got those all colored and cut and ready to go. So that part is going to go real fast. Okay, I am gonna need to do a tiny bit of trimming right there, it looks like. Let's, I've got like a major issue of glue right there. And I've got a label that's going on in the middle, so I'm gonna just cut it like that. Maybe I'll, actually maybe we'll just take off a lot of that rather than Leave it too jagged. There we go. Get my excess glue off here. There we go. All right, so now we've got our middle piece ready to be glued inside the card. Now you want to make sure you use your Tombow on this. So you're just going to set it like inside here. Oh, I've still got that. I might have to get my Tombow on that one. That one looks like it's not, not going to stay down for me. There we go. I'm gonna get my excess glue off here also. I've got some, um, do you, um, so Andy, do you like those blow up toys? Cause that's what this set reminds me of are the blow up um, decorations, Christmas and Halloween decorations that people have out in their yards this freeze and fun set. When I first started coming out with those, I wasn't at all thrilled with them because they didn't have characters that I liked and um, it's like, they just didn't seem like the real thing, you know what I mean? But they have a lot of really cute ones now, so I've kind of gotten, I've gotten endeared to them. 
Okay, you do want to make sure if you, like me, got a bunch of excess glue, you want to get that glue off because it might interfere with the holding. All right, now we're finally all set. And I did, you know, I didn't get quite perfect. It's sticking out more on that side, not on this side. So I'm going to trim off my excess white showing up there. I'm, I'm basically what I'm doing is cutting it crooked, but since it's going to be inside flopping around, you won't even notice that because these were straight lines until I started cutting on them. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're finally ready. All right, so now you stick this in here and, oops, how have I got it going? This has got to fold this way. Hmm, what have I done? Oh, I've got it folding the wrong way. Let's do it like, let me get my bone folder out. So I've got a crease going there now. Okay, there we go. So that one goes like that. This one goes like this. There we go. All right, now you can go in there. All right, and I still see a tiny bit of white. Sort of my odd nature. All right, now we're going to glue these on. And, you know, I, I do have these little edges kind of sticking there that kind of bug me a little bit. But you don't really want to put these all the way to the edge. And it wouldn't cover it all up either. Anyway, you do want these to be inside a little bit. Before you glue this edge on, you're going to just put a strip of glue here and a strip of glue there. You want to make sure it's going to fold nicely. You do want to make sure it's in far enough that it's not going to be sticking out. Okay, so now that I see that, I, I know exactly where I need these. You definitely want to do your Tombow. Oh, bye, Marty. Marty probably left a long time ago. I just saw she's leaving to do dinner. I wonder what she's having for dinner tonight. We did some chili and co um, cornbread. I made some cornbread, and I let myself have one bowl one small you know one and a half or maybe two cups I doubt it was a whole two cups of chili but it was so good now with all this snow it'll be perfect weather for having soup and chili and all that yummy stuff huh I love soup I saw in one of our our magazines that somebody had um or maybe it was on the internet um, the Panera broccoli cheddar cheese soup recipe, which is really yummy. Okay, isn't that fun? I love that. It is so fun. Now, I'm going to put you down just a little bit. The, the putting together all the little doodads is so fun, especially when you have it all done. Now, if you were coming to one of my classes, this would be all done for you, and I'm... Um, you would have done it correctly the first time, of course. You wouldn't have had to get another piece and do it properly because you would have done it the right the first time. Don't forget, we've got our 10% sale tomorrow. So if, you're, if you've been waiting to buy any stuff, now is the time to do it. All right, where, where's all of my little... Pieces. There they are. I gotta kind of dump them all out. All right, now we're gonna get to the part that goes together pretty fast if I can find the cover now. Where did I put it? There you are. All right, so we've got, I've got, um, for this paper, I've got a Pacific Point mat that I'm gonna put on here. And I made it just a little bigger than I want, but I think we'll live with it anyway. We're just gonna glue that down. Pacific Point is not Knight of Navy, but I, I wanted it to 
pick up those blues in there. This is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And this one actually has been textured already with that subtle embossing folder. I love that. Taco salad. Oh, Linda, that sounds good. <laughs> For the Brady Bunch, that's good. How many kids have you gotten? Or are these grandkids? I bet these are your grandkids, huh? Oh, man. Um, taco salad is a really good diet thing. You can have it. It's delicious. You can make it skinny. You can make it fat, depending on who's eating it that is allowed to eat or not. So I took our um, third, I think, or fourth. This is maybe the fourth down stitched die. The third, oh, no, I took it back. It's the third down. I wrote it on there so that I would remember. We never use um, sour cream anymore, but they've got some really good substitutes out there that aren't bad at all. So if you're wanting that, you can still even do that. All right, I do need to do a tiny bit of stamping here because I've got a label I stuck over here. There are all my little snowballs ready to go. Not you. I think you're an extra. Here we go. So here's one of these stitched rectangles that I've already cut out. And we need to find the word Merry Christmas. Where are you? I think you are on... Well, this is not exactly the one I used, but it's about the right size. This is from our snowman season, so it'll probably work. Let's check it out. Looks like it's about the right size and we need the snow the snow and I used these snow flakes but I might use those since I've got this set out. I kind of like these. They're more varied in size. Maybe we'll use them all. Oops, I want your little hand. My hands keep falling out. This little snowman twig arms. They don't stick it very well anymore because I've used this set so often. That's one I've used a ton. Let's see if you'll fit. Oh, good, you do. We'll just use Night of Navy for this one. Get rid of my trash. <laughs> Just two of you for the Brady Bunch. I wouldn't call that a bunch. <laughs> um, still, oh, I don't want to do that first. What I need to do, let me grab out um, a piece of, where's a piece of scrap paper here? Let's just use this piece. I need to use my, my snowflake. And before we do that, we're gonna do our snowflakes. We need to stamp off. Oh, it's too big, I cannot do this. So we're gonna stamp off quite a bit there. Okay. I might even get out, it looks like I might have used, um, party or something as well. Ooh, that's not clean enough. There we go. We'll put these guys away and we'll get those other ones out and we use pool party with that. Or if you wanted to add in the purple, um, you could do your purple posy. That might be kind of nice. I think I'm going to just stick with pool party and we'll grab out the little snowflake from this set oh, that one looks kind of dirty let's use a tiny little stamp oh that's night of navy i was wondering why are you dark because oh, you're night of navy that would explain it there we go okay there we go. 
Okay. Now, I, I covered it quite a bit, but Night of Navy is so dark, it's going to show up really nicely anyway. My lights are kind of bright here. I wonder if you can see this well enough. Let's see if that helps. I love that it has this stitched die thing going here. It's really pretty, isn't it? I really like that. I need light, but we need less glare. So you're going to insert a piece of DSP here. All right, now we can stamp our Merry Christmas. And it's nice to do one that's got photopolymer, even though those kind of are easy, unfortunately, they tend to rock, and then once you've rocked it, you've got, you know, an issue. You know what? I didn't use mirror. That, I must have used Pacific Point on that. Look at that, because it's not quite the right color. But I don't have another label out that is big enough, so we're going to just have to live with it. But the Pacific Point looked a lot better. And I bet Pacific Point is what I used for those um, snowflakes as well. But I know on the inside I, I stuck with, or at least I thought I did. It looks like it's Pacific Point. So let's get Night of Navy. You are out of here. And there is Pacific Point. have another label that's as big as I need but let's see that's close that one's a little bit too wide I was hoping I had one cut out and ready to go there's one I think this is why it's kind of handy to do these things at night oh that one's so close I think that one will work we'll just do another one really quick here and then I can get the colors I want. Okay. A little, oops, my paper is sticking. All right, Pacific Point, you're gonna work out much nicer. Look at that much better hi jewel how are you it's nice to see you In our region we're getting some snow here and there i wonder what it's doing over there for you it's some parts that i was looking at where our family is it was terribly terribly foggy today that dense fog is really scary to drive in. I don't like, don't like that. Okay, I'm just putting a couple more of these snowflakes on there from our seasons, our snowman season. Now we will do our Merry Christmas and not do it in night. Oops, is that going to fit? It's so close. It's going to have to. I might have to do it kind of cattywonkers to fit it on there. All right, now we've got that part done. Whew. Everything I've gone to do today, I've had to do it over again. I guess I need that to stay out. All right, our light is still, our lights are still not quite so bright. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's fine. All right, so we want our Pacific Point out still. And what comes next? We've got 
a cute little bunny and we now that little we is from our freeze and fun so I'm using pretty much all of these stamp sets um, or stamps I've lost one out of there where did it go oh, it must have fallen out oh well I won't worry about it yet it's probably I wonder where I could have lost it to because I haven't really done anything with the set Huh, that is funny. Let me put some of my things away. I think I've got so much stuff all over my desk that I cannot find anything. Put my those away. Oh, there it was, right there. Good. <laughs> all right, so we've got the little bunny over here somewhere. Let's see where he is. Here he is on his little skis. So I colored him Seaside Spray and um, Purple Posy, a little bit of peach, petal pink cheeks. So cute. The lighting is bleaching out the upper left. Oh, you're right, it is. Thank you. Yeah, my lighting, I just can't seem to get it right. I think I'm gonna have to cover up my it's not my lights. I love this glass mat, but the contrast, my cam it's not the mat, it's not anything, it's my camera lens. It's the it's the contrast there. It's just not able to it's not able to handle uh, contrast at all. So let's try that and see if that helps. I've kind of got the lights more in my face now, so I don't know if I can see, but <laughs> it might help my, um, this bleaching out issue. We'll see. It takes me a while to see if it's actually working. All right, so we're going to just take some dimensionals, and I'm going to try to keep my supplies somewhat in my view. got a bunch of stuff that got underneath this paper. All these little pieces. These are all gonna go on our card, not him. I don't think I've got him, but I, in just in case I wanted to use him, I stuck him in there. All right, I think my lighting's a little better now. Does that seem better? I hope so. All right, we need to find the tiny little circle. I've done a little stitched circle. Or maybe I'm using this little tiny Thing instead of the circle. What have I got going here? Maybe this one. This one's a little bit bigger and I can use the word we on that. This little bunny sliding down the hill just I thought needed to have the word we on there. When our kids were pretty old I was still taking him to slide down the hill I love doing it myself it's so fun sledding is something I've always really enjoyed you don't have to have any particular skill to be able to just flop on a sled and go down the hill when I was up until I was probably 12 I was pretty old I would dream about sledding down the not hill like in a tree forest mountain area because it was something I loved to do and couldn't do it all that often you know we lived in the city so I didn't get to do it as often as I would have liked to and I've never been bothered so much by the cold I think people who don't like cold are not such big fans of sledding as I am but I've always had a pretty good amount of fat to layer me up with and not have to be to as cold. So it's like, ah, the cold's not, it's fine. Don't be such a big baby. But if you're really skinny, it does, it makes a big difference, seriously. So it's kind of nice that I always have my own little insulation, right? built in okay now on the first on the card that I did before I didn't put um, any ribbon or anything but I figured today since I'm doing um, I'm not doing the circle 
we're going to go ahead and do, we will do a little, little ribbon. And then we're going to stick him on there and you can just stick your bunny on there however you want. Now what did I do with my dimensionals? Hmm, did I put them away? I don't I put everything away, and there you are. I couldn't find you. All right, we'll just get one on the back of that. What are you guys doing? Are you guys doing um, or having, um, let's see, do we want it like that, like that? What do you think? How about like that? Are you having um, Christmas Eve services uh, because they have closed down our churches again? And... Um, <laughs> people are trying to make the best of things and um, we are not going to have a Christmas Eve service um, except for online and um, honestly <laughs> I think um, I think that's gonna leave me pretty cold but whatever people are doing the best they can so he's gonna be kind of I didn't want him to be sliding down the slot sign necessarily so I think we'll just stick that on there like that and then you can put your little bunny on your slope however you want to Let's stick him right there isn't he cute all right now for the inside we are gonna do a little circle little stitched circle tag and I, I think I cut out, the, yes I did, there you are. Little DSP that we can, um, now these things inside are pretty much needing to be glued because if you start layering up a whole lot of foam backing on things, then it's gonna be, it's already gonna be pretty fat. So just glue that down and I use Tis the Season to be Freezing for, for this sentiment. So we'll put that on this DSP. Again, this is Pacific Point ink. I think in our church office, they are um, offering people to take the little candle for our candlelight service home, but I don't know how that would work. I wouldn't do it. Um, I mean, if the kids were home, uh, I don't know. I would be thinking, nah, it's all right. We can, we're gonna do something else. So here's our cute little walrus. Isn't he fun? He's got smoky slate coloring. I left white around his eyes so that you can see his eyes. Otherwise, if you color all over it, it's kind of, it gets kind of hidden in there. Better put some mini dimensionals on him. He's not very big. And then our snowball flakes, our, or I mean our snowball. This is a, he's having a little snowball fight. He's throwing the snowballs and they're going over my little area that I'm gonna leave this label partially unprinted on anything so that I can write on it. And the snow footballs are just flying all across. I have them on almost every page. This little mouse I pulled from some set, I don't even know, but I'm gonna put something else on this card today. And I have it hitting the penguins to knock him off his little snowboard. And that's why I'm using the sending warmth your way. Um, I thought that was, that was a really good stamp set that they included. Um, with the snowball fight uh, theme. If this is gonna be something that kids will really enjoy, won't they? When we were kids in school, um, I could never hit anybody much with a snowball, but I had a good friend who was really good at it. I got pelted a lot by her. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just leave that snowball that's upside down upside down so I can stick my mini dimensional on it. It fits perfectly. And then we can stick that one in his hand. We're gonna get the little pile of snowballs. 
somewhere here. Where is that pile of snowball? There you are. That one we can do with. Well, we better not put that on it. We want blue on it. Because I remember I just told you not to put a whole bunch of dimensionals on things. Well, Kathy, stick to the plan. I don't want to do that. The, the, uh, you can glue the snowballs down. It's actually not that hard. You just stick a dab of glue. And I'm going to grab my tweezers there. And then we can stick that one on there. And now this label's going to go in here. And I stamped the little tree and just some snowflakes. I just wanted a little bit, you know, a little something. Um, so we'll just use this little mini. Where's the mini tree? Oh, I forgot to clean this one up. Oh, there it is. Put that one away. There's the little mini tree. Hmm, that's got a little spot on it. We will just have to ink over that little spot. And I purposely went off the edge. Um, I'm thinking I just want it to be a little casual. And I also do want to leave enough room to write in, you know. All right, there we go. And then we've got the snowflakes. There. Cute. All right, now that one can go right on this panel right there, and then you can have more snowflakes or snowballs coming across there if you want. This is only going to leave me room just to say a very brief greeting. Um, you know, some cards you want to leave more room for writing. This one's going to be just for fun, and I'm I'm going to be sending it to somebody who's, you know, probably more of an acquaintance or a, a kid who's definitely not going to be doing a lot of reading. This, may your season be merry and bright. Oh, my goodness. I have no idea where that one is from. So I am going to leave that page undone. I'll have to hunt that stamp down. The life's better with have when you were having fun together. That one's in here so we can get that one done. And let's see. I think I'm going to use my little flag tag for that one. Because of the theme, it doesn't really matter if it's a tiny bit crooked. It's going to be not a problem. Okay. Whoops hard time getting that one cleaned off. There we go. All right. I am getting dear, nearing the end now. Sounds like our music is too. I just got a, like a major Deck the Halls tune going in there. This must be the Fiedler. Is it Fiedler? Arthur Fiedler Orchestra? It's sounding pretty, pretty serious. Okay, that one and our little raccoon he's crumb cake and again leave the uh, whites around his little eyes when you're coloring I just did seaside spray and purple posy for all the extra coloring other than little crumb cake little bronze um, or whatnot tried to stick with seaside spray and purple posy for the coloring and we have, an, now we're going to do, this is um, 
another Pacific Pacific Point stitched circle. I'll stick that one there. And then we've got a little, I was gonna do a little image there. And I, on mine, I did some puff paint for snow in some of these. Let's see, I think instead of, what have I got here? I think I'm going to use to this time, I think I wanna use this guy. The little polar bear from Warm and Toasty, he's cute. And he's the perfect size. So let's stick him on a little stitched circle. Okay, so that guy goes away. This one also has some cute sentiments. So I could put this, here's to a cool you right here with him. I think that'll be cute. Especially if we're doing this with for a kid, won't that be fun? They'll love it. All right, that can go right in here. And we're gonna have this, the snowballs. Remember, the snowballs are still gonna be flying. That's why I cut out so many of them. Now with this uh, set, you get, when you're doing your snowballs, you get three, so you stamp three. And it cuts those um, it cuts those out sing singularly, but with three. So cutting a whole bunch of snow snowballs out um, wasn't wasn't really all that hard to do. It only took a couple more minutes than it might if you're only doing one or two. So not that big a deal. All right, so we'll put him right there. So cute. Hmm. And on the last page is our fun little penguin. Okay, he's the one that's gonna have a snowball hitting him right in the side. Let me get my fold working better here. There we go. I want to do my last little label. This, oh no, is, oh, this skinny one. This is our skinniest little stitched rectangle die for um, sending warmth your way. We want that one to go on there. I need this one to line up pretty straight. So cute. So we're gonna glue that one right there on the back, like that. I did finally get out and take some pictures of my garden, but this year I had taken some, I did a little video tour, but unfortunately my, <laughs> my video I thought I uploaded it to Facebook and it uploaded only like the first five minutes of it my intro it didn't it didn't upload any of the garden tour I was so disgusted when I came when I looked at it like several days later and saw that oh shoot it didn't even I had already lost all the leaves off of our little boat um off of our burning bush and a lot of things were gone so I couldn't really justify doing a whole video again we have some mums out there that's about it I do have one pumpkin on the porch still okay so there he's getting hit by a snowball it's knocking him off of his little snowboard So there he is getting knocked right off of his snowboard and they have these fun little ice ice chunks 
which a penguin would be walking around on, I guess. So we'll just do those there. I've got another one here somewhere. There it is. Oh. All right, so that's that. And again, for now, it's just a matter of sticking on another snowball or two, however you want your snowballs going. I just want to make sure there's enough flying around that people get the idea what's going on here. Oops. There we go. Okay. All right. So I think I will finish the last bit on my own so you can get going to your day. But it is a cute little fun fold. And if you don't have any problems starting it out like I did earlier, it actually goes pretty fast. So I think that's it for today. I hope that everything has worked out well enough that you figured out what I was doing. I hope so. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We are gonna have, I think we're gonna have our son come. Oh, my camera doesn't wanna, there we go. And uh, so that'll be nice. We'll have a nice Thanksgiving and I don't do a whole turkey and everything anymore because we just don't, we can't eat all of that. It's like, wow, can't eat too, that much. I think I have some snacks coming and um, it'll be good. We'll have a great time. So you too, and I will see you, I think I will see you next week. I'm planning to be here, but um, since it is after a holiday, sometimes things get pushed back and I'm not able to. So we will just see. I am planning on it. I already know what we're going to do next week. Um, you're going to love it. It is, I, I think I've got it way over there. I should have brought it over here, but it's cute. So we're going to just keep enjoying some Christmas things for a couple more weeks. And then we're going to be looking at our new catalog before you believe, can, can you believe it? It's going to be January time for a new catalog for us demonstrators. We're going to already be in the catalog, getting to look at those things and play with those things in December. It's part of the fun of being a demonstrator. All right, I will see you later. Thanks again for watching and for sharing. I really appreciate it. And you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye.